My name is Kaylin Lee, and I'm a musician and a public speaker and a disability rights advocate from Duluth, Minnesota. I do a lot of speaking about disability awareness and just some of the barriers that people with disabilities still face in our society. But I, I always end that talk with like reframing disability to be a form of diversity because I think there's a lot of negative stigma or stereotypes or just negative energy around the concept of disability when in fact it's a very natural part of the human experience and it, it affects one in four Americans and it's not something that we need to pity but we have to support it make sure people have the resources they need and then we can celebrate it as a form of diversity. Galen's voice is becoming known for advocacy, yet she's also using it to perform and speak around the world. Don't tell me we've got time. In 2016, I won NPR Music's Tiny Desk Contest, and that kind of launched the opportunity to tour nationally and internationally. The NPR Music Tiny Desk Contest is an annual contest where people who um, are not signed to a label can submit an original song that they wrote uh, in the form of a YouTube video. And it has to be recorded in front of a desk so that they know that you make it for that contest. I submitted my song, Someday Will Linger in the Sun. As a touring artist, I didn't realize, I always thought it was like my hometown isn't the most accessible when it comes to venues. And then I started finding the same issues all over the country and in fact, in other countries too. And so we're not gonna see as many disabled artists if there are so many barriers to entry. Uh, most venues don't have ramps to the stage. A lot of places don't have accessible bathrooms um, or they're just not, actively looking to include disabled people, even, you know, on that level. And so um, making the arts more welcoming and, and in fact, uh, inclusive of disability, I think would change culture. Ultimately, you know, we understand what we're able to see and learn about. And if you don't have disabled people uh, represented in the arts, it's harder to move that discussion forward because it feels like it's not really a part of our society, and it is. Galen stresses the importance of changing the way we discuss disability. Talking about disability in the media is a really important piece of the discussion because there's a, you know, a few really negative, I think, things that come out of representing disability without really being authentic about it. The first is, is the idea of her life is really difficult and somehow she still managed to make this art. So there was one newspaper article that I, I did an interview for. It went great, I thought. And when the article came out, the first line was, it didn't look like she'd be able to do much with her life until she found music. That just doesn't represent anything that I said during the entire interviews. But I think there's another narrative that I want to change, which is the like inspiration, like, if they can do it, I can do it kind of thing. Um, because even that idea that seems like it's in a more positive light, stories that are designed only to inspire non-disabled audiences are ultimately coming from this place of their disability is an obstacle. And I'm not saying that people with disabilities never feel that their disability has presented obstacles, but if we only talk about disability as an obstacle rather than like just a way of existing in the world, we're never going to move to a place of like actual equality. And so e even subtle things, there's, I've turned down a lot of pieces uh, because the, the sole angle is how did you overcome your disability to learn how to play? And it's like, well, I don't see it that way. And so we're just not on the same page. And I'm hoping that that changes the more, I'm not the only one saying this kind of thing. So I want to see that change because if people realize that we don't talk about other forms of diversity as overcoming, you know, you don't overcome your race, you don't overcome your gender. Um, I see disability as an, another extension of diversity in that way. <laughs>